I didn't know how. Uh, I knew that I don't, at that point, and we're talking with 2012, 2013, at that point, I had maybe 100 or 150 artworks in my collection. I wasn't considered a, a real large collector, but uh, I knew that I wanted to do something more with the artwork. I knew that I wanted to help in another way that I was already, I think, helping artists by being a patron, by providing them with the resources, by buying, by collecting, by bringing people in to buy their works as well. I knew I wanted to do something. The commercial aspect of the gallery, I was gonna, came about because I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I saw the wealth, the breadth of talent in Ghana, especially in Ghana. All these young artists that we now work with, see our booth, Yao Busu, uh, Serge Atakwe Kloti, Ibrahim Ahama, Yao Busu, all of those young artists that were graduating, had just graduated, there was a movement coming up. And these people, I found them incredibly articulate. They were dealing with social political events, not of the colonial and the slave and the other things, but of pressing issues that we have, that they are encountering right now in Africa. Lack of water, corruption, many other things that appealed to me also that I wanted to be part of it. So it was in conversations with these young artists that I began to form the idea of doing the commercial gallery by saying, okay, I'll take it a step further, I'll manage these artists, I'll display their works uh, in the hotel that I was building as well. And if anybody does, has come to the Kapinski Accra, you'll see all of my, uh, all of the public spaces are works of these young artists and not the modernist artists like Abdullah Glover and Kofi Agrisol who are very annoyed at me that I didn't display their works there. But for me, they had a market you know, they were people already with a reputation. I did not think that they needed my, you know, my assistance. I thought the younger people was what needed my attention. So, you know, I saw that if I can collate these artists, put them together, give them the infrastructure that they required, the necessary platform, which wasn't there, bring curators and writers. If it wasn't in Ghana, I was going to bring them on the board to write about these artists, to document these artists to hold museum grade exhibitions with these artists in Ghana, not anywhere else in the world, in Ghana first. Let people come and see their work there, do the studio visits there, see the artists there. Then I was sure that things would take off. That if from the inside, then we'd go to the outside. I'm not saying that we can show outside, we do a lot of art we need to do that. Because still to this day, apart from Nigeria, which has a collector base, no West African country does. And in Ghana, it's been a struggle. We're getting there, it's taking time, but I can still count the, 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 the real collectors on, on my hand that I work with personally. Uh, we still sell 70 to 80% of our work to the international market. So the international market is still important to us. We still have to be there, we still have to see, we have to be engaged. And I think, you know, 2016, is when we opened at the same time as Art X launched, actually. You were our second fair, 154 London was our first fair, and yeah. So the similar, you were also launching. Everybody saw that there was something happening and that we needed to do something. I felt that if, you know, if somebody had done it, I wouldn't have done it. If there was a commercial gallery in Ghana that I thought was reputable and respectable and was doing it on international, I don't think I would have done it. But there wasn't, I decided to do it. And with the commercial part or the entrepreneurial part of mine, I knew that at some point these artworks and these artists are going to be worth a lot of money. And it's, it's proven the fact that they are. It's incredible how quickly this has come to fruition that these artists have gained international recognition beyond being African artists but leading contemporary world artists. Yeah, that's excellent. Um, and so